Hey guys, welcome back to Play Analysis, where we connect Shakespeare to the shows of today. This episode, we'll be talking about Iago and Othello, from the play Othello, and compare their trust to Jamal and Caesar from the Netflix original series, On My Block. Alright, let's start up with the relationship between Othello and Iago. The rundown on them is Othello trusts Iago an insane amount, to the point where anything he says, he will believe. Because he believes Iago is a trustworthy man. But, in reality, he is not. Iago has an insane amount of hatred against him and only wants to ruin Othello's life. In Act 1, he claims his hatred towards Othello is because a position of lieutenant was passed on to Cassio instead of him. That's a reasonable thing to feel angry towards. The man that trusts you wholeheartedly doesn't promote you to the lieutenant. You're gonna be mad about that. But then in scene 3 of that same act, he says that he thinks Othello may have slept with his wife. Then in act 2, scene 3, he explains that he lusts over Desmona because he wants to get even. A wife for a wife, so to speak. Yet he barely bats an eye towards Amelia, his own wife, and basically only uses her as a tool. Iago is a two-faced, manipulative person with no definite reason as to why he hates Othello so much. He only wants to cause suffering for him and would manipulate anybody to do so. And he can, because Othello trusts him so much, and since everybody trusts Othello, they assume Iago's trustworthy as well, when in fact, he is not. Now, on to On My Block. So, a bond that's given here, like, the topic of trust, that's similar to Othello and Iago, and would be, like, Jamal and Caesar. Like, Jamal is, like, the worst of the friends, but, like, they really trust Caesar since he's a quote-unquote leader. And, like, they've been through a lot of hardship together as, like, a group. Just saw what things happen. But, like, it's different when it comes down to Jamal. Like, he's kind of casual. Like, he's kind of sus. Um, like, he really can't keep a secret to himself for, like, a very long time. Or he kind of go, like, a little weird and ballistic. But, like, the thing that's connecting um Iago and Nithalo to, like, Caesar and, like, uh, Jamal is that, like, C- like, Caesar had cheated on his girlfriend, Montse, which is part, like, she was a part of the friend group. So Caesar, like, he went to go come fly with, like, Jamal, mainly because he got caught by him. He didn't want to say anything to the rest of the friend group. But, like, basically the whole episode, it was dedicated to Jamal going insane for, like, time and time because he couldn't really, like, say anything to anyone because, like, he promised Caesar. And now on the similarities between the two. First up is Caesar and Othello. They're both very kind-hearted and prioritize loyalty above anything else. The fact that they think you're loyal proves that they trust you immensely. And they both show good leadership skills as well. Also similar is the fact that they have insecurities. And those insecurities affect how they react to everything. Caesar has a good handle on his insecurities though. They don't affect him as much as Othello did when Iago was planting seeds to make him think that Desdemona was cheating on him. Even though the roles are reversed and Caesar was the one doing the cheating. Now to Iago and Jamal. Their trustworthiness or the lack thereof is the only similar characteristic that they have. For Jamal, if you want a secret to be kept, he is not the person to go to. It would be blurted out in less than two seconds, and if he truly believes that he can hold it in, it just comes out in the worst possible way. Um, But for Iago, if you tell him a secret, in this case scenario, if you tell him a secret, he will keep it, but he will use it to his own advantage to most likely bring Othello's downfall, depending if it's useful to him or not. Or if you just happen to provoke him for some reason, he will use whatever secret you've given him to his own advantage.